let me fix this. No. Come on. All right, I hope that'll work. All right, let's hope that works. It's a windy day, so if anybody chimes in, you might have terrible audio. Oh my god. Ooh, that was was that a bird? I thought I saw a surface of a a fish right over there. But it could have been a bird diving underneath the water. Well nothing's resurfacing, so oh no, no, there it is. It was a bird, it was a cormorant. <laughs> I got tricked. We're gonna roll with the chartreuse spoon for a hot minute. Do 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 do. So windy. Super duper windy crazy but it's pretty nice out regardless I mean had some very very heavy rains during the night so I was worried that it would actually be more flooded but it's actually clearer than it was but you know maybe it'll take a little while for all the water upriver to be able to catch up and muddy up the river I don't know I was hoping to take the kayak out tomorrow, but we'll see how the water looks tomorrow morning. What worked the other day, I had another successful day, it was, um, it was Monday, so now today's Friday, so I had another successful day, I think I got 12 in a couple hours, and I probably lost like another 10, all on white spoons, but I'm throwing a chartreuse right now, but we'll see if we, if we don't catch anything on this, on this one right here, we might switch up to a white one. Could have been, could have just been a rock right there. Who knows? It's super, super duper shallow right now with the low tide, so I might end up losing a few spoons today.
I'm afraid to let it sink too far. That's the problem. If I let it sink too far, I'm going to lose it. It's going to get hung up. That's the problem. You know, the sun is out, so let's go ahead and just throw that silver one I have tied on my other rod real quick. Silver with a chartreuse feather on it. Got me a few fish the other day. I could be hitting rocks. Felt like a couple, a couple of nibbles, but sometimes it's hard to tell when you're just bumping up against rocks. Uh, how's the water clarity after the rain? Uh, it's actually not too bad. It's better than it was the other day, but considering that it just rained last night, we might have to wait and see how it is in like 24 hours. 24, 48 hours. I guess it depends on how much it rained upriver, which I don't know how much it did. But it's actually not, not too bad. I was here Monday and it was worse, but I still got on to like 12 of them. 12 shad. That guy might have one over there, another bank angler. Looks like he's reeling something in, I'm not sure. got one. Okay, so they're biting. They're biting. Now we just got to figure out what they're biting. Are they biting white, chartreuse, silver, fast retrieve, slow retrieve? Problem is the current's pretty freaking strong right here. That's my problem. But there was nobody over here, so I freaking just popped a squat and went for it. Ooh. Nope, rock. Of course, I tell you, it's that freaking low tide, low tide. All right, well, that's a bummer. Ooh, it moved. I may have gotten it out. It feels like the weight's still on there at least. Let's see here. I oh, know I got it all back. That's good. Oh, I was, am I on somebody else's line? I am. Yeah, I'm on some somebody else's line. You can see a weight right there somebody was using. That's not heavy enough to stop the James River. I don't know who was fishing that, but yeah, I didn't get hooked up on a rock. I got hooked up on somebody's line. Yeah, well, bye-bye. I don't want you. Let's just check for fray just in case. All right, we're good. God, there's so much glare on my screen, I can't really tell if anybody... Oh, hang on. Yep, okay, I missed a chat. I missed a couple chats. Shoot. Why can't I scroll? Are my fingers too wet? My wife and only caught four in about two hours on Wednesday. Bite was sort of slow, but perch, perch were high. Okay, cool. I haven't caught a perch yet this year. So that'd be nice if I caught one. I really only have shad spoons with me, which can work quite well with white perch. So I'm still hopeful. I can move closer to the water. Maybe I can get my cast out a little bit farther.
I'll be happy with just a couple. Current is ripping and roaring right now though. Low tide makes it slightly faster, I guess. Keeping a pretty steady retrieve. I'm not letting it sink really. Oh my god, this wind, dude. Let me turn out of the wind. Maybe maybe your audio will be better if I put my back to the wind. Oh that guy got that guy got a shad too. Alright, it's two shad I've seen caught by two different anglers now. Wow, this is crazy. This is insane. So windy. I let it sink for about two seconds, so we'll see if that makes a difference. We'll try a slower retrieve, but I am scared. I do not. I don't think I've ever fished the Appomattox at all, actually. It's just that, like, I live, like, right here, right next to this river, so, like, it's really easy for me just to, like, drive five, ten minutes down the street and boom, I'm here. with this silver one for another minute. I brought three rods, but I ended up, I forgot that one of them actually I need to fix. <laughs> I need to fix the line, it's kind of all tangled up in it. Or I just need to retie it, I'm not, I can't remember, but. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, and we'll start reeling in. We'll do a go ahead and just do a slow retrieve because, like, the current's pulling it so fast. I feel like I might be hitting rocks, but I'm not sure. Let's do a short cast. Let it sink. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, and then we're gonna do like a medium retrieve. We'll see. I have gotten a lot of bites shallow here. 
or sorry, closer to the bank, I mean. And now, Farcast. As far as I can basically get it. Okay. That might have been a bite. Uh, I feel like I'm on the rock. Actually, yeah, I'm stuck. God dang it. See, that's the problem. Uh, can't let it get too low, especially in this freaking... In this freaking... Low tide, oh, I may have gotten it, I may have gotten it. Um, I'm not sure yet. Actually, I think I may have snapped. Yeah, I got the weight back. Yeah, just the weight back. Okay, you know what? That gives me a chance to try white spoon. So let's try that. We'll tie on a white. Eh, which has been the killer so far this season for me. There is some fray right there though, so I might just have to retie everything. We will just be safe and we will retie everything. Because I'd rather take two minutes to retie than lose a fish. Did I miss a comment? Let me see. Same thing for us. James is closer. In theory, there would be fewer rocks in the Appomattox and Swift Creek, though. Possibly never tried it either, though. All right. I know nothing about the Appomattox. I know nothing about where to go, where to launch a kayak, if I want to do kayak, or where to do bank, if I want to do bank. I know nothing! Actually, it looks like the loop that would be right here has broken off. So this whole weight is kind of useless now. So, wonderful. All right. Oh God, what, the, what just flew out? Oh my God, something flew out. It's gone, <laughs> it's so gone. Do I go with white and pink or white and green? I already grabbed pink. Let's do pink. Get off. Spit on it. Spit on it.
This is so boring, I bet. This is not fun to watch, probably. Just me here spitting online. All right, everything's tied on. All right, we're gonna go. We do now have a fly fisherman about 15 yards downstream from me. So I have a feeling we might end up getting tied up with each other. Another bank angler has gotten one. How are y'all getting one? I don't, I don't get none. It's obviously that I'm just a bad fisherman. So. Come on, just one fish, just one, then two, then three, then four, then five. Decent cast, decent cast. Starting to run out of line on this. I need to get better at maintaining my rods and reels. I'm terrible at it. Are these hits or am I just, am I hitting the bottom?
at least it's nice out. Besides the wind. But at least it's warm and sunny. Blue, bright blue sky. All right, the fly fisherman's gone, so I got a little bit more wiggle room to my right. Oh no, please. Oh, thank God. I was about to say, am I just stuck already? All right, let me see if I can block the wind noise with my body. Come on, just one fish. Just one fishy fish. Just one fishy 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 fishy. right there. I think I may have missed a few chats. Boop. Boop. Okay, there we go. White Bank Boat Ramp in Colonial Heights is perfect for kayaks or small boat. Perfect. Okay, I'll try to remember that. White Bank Boat Ramp. Hey, glad you did well in the tournament. I did. It was fun. It was chilly. It was cold. But uh, our boat got onto eight or nine fish. And I don't really think anybody else did very well, to be honest with you. But it was fun to do some boat fishing, which I am not used to. Everything was basically done by Austin anyways. I was just along for the ride. Kind of felt like a little kid just like watching, learning. I'm used to my kayak, I'm not used to a boat. Definitely not used to eight rods. I've seen three get caught so far by fishermen about 40 yards down, 50 yards down. But I, I've got nothing. One thing I keep forgetting to do is setting up my one rod, my bait caster up with a heavier weight and throwing it out there. Usually every, every spring I could toss it out there much farther than these other rods, these other spinning reels and sometimes that's a ticket is just getting it far out there but I keep forgetting to do that
a bummer it just had to be low tide at the moment, but this is the only time I could have gone fishing today. Unless I could somehow motivate my butt to get up at 5.30. It's hard to do that. It's hard for me to be able to motivate myself to do that, even with good fishing. I do see other fishermen keep um, snagging on the bottom too, so glad I'm not the only one, but what's to be expected with the slow tide? All right, maybe I'll switch back to chartreuse here in a minute just to mix it up a little bit. Try the white one more time. Because it is sunny out, so gold. Gold might be a nice um, nice ticket right now. But we'll switch to chartreuse. We'll try chartreuse for like, I don't know, five, ten minutes. Then we'll cut off the chartreuse and go with gold. All right. Put white away. Or maybe, I wonder if, what the heck is this plastic around? Let's see here. Okay, I can maybe just tie it onto this. I guess I did untangle it the other day. I just forgot that I did that. I should have fixed this up before I started streaming, but I'm a moron. Do to do do to do 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 do. Tying sucks and it's boring. God, I feel like there's so much fray on this line. What the fudge, man? Yeah. Maybe it's just the line. Maybe this is how it feels. <laughs> I don't know. All right, we're gonna we're gonna roll with it. Ah! The wind nearly knocked me over. Are you kidding me? I believe a gold spoon was definitely the winner last year for me. It got probably the most shad. So far this year it's white. Oops, no, I'm not tying this one yet. Tie on the weight.
that right up. Is it just weak line? Yeah, okay. I'm not putting like a lot of pressure on this. Jesus Christ, this bag. That plastic bag is scaring me. And the wind is scaring me. Such an entertaining part of the video, Tyler. All right, it's freaking on. Eh, eh, eh. All right, we're good. All right, gold. Work your golden magic. Oh, there's a boat that just anchored in front of those fishermen down there. Brilliant, brilliant work. And just as I tie this on, the sun goes behind a cloud. Amazing. Oh, there it is. Okay. This is kind of like my weaker rod, it's way more flexible, so if I catch on to something, it's going to be a little bit more of a fight. That was probably just a rock. 
Yeah, I almost never ever have faith during low tide. It, like it just, it just, it's you. It's not like it's impossible to catch anything. Obviously, I've seen three get caught since I started this streaming, started this stream 40 minutes ago. But I just never do as well. And sometimes it just, it's off putting. Oh, that's a rock. God dang it! Oh, I just tied this sucker. Oh. Oh. I didn't even let it sink that much, really, at all. I might have gotten it, or at least they got the weight back. I got it all back, okay. Check it for fray. We, okay, I think we're good. I think we're good, let's check up here. I think we're good. Ah, I slipped. All right. Can you catch one in the first hour of streaming, Tyler? Can you? Doesn't look good. Does not look good. Here, did I miss a chat? Let me check. No. Sweet. Kind of risky. I'm throwing it up, up river a little bit. Throwing it along the bank. Oh, that was way to the right. Whoops! Come on, fishies. Fishy, 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 fishies. tide sucks so much. I hate it. I hate low tide. Uh, 
Ugh. Whoa. Did I hit a rock? I think I just hit a rock. It's all right. I got faith. I have faith in the shed. And I have faith in myself to trick one and kidnap one out of the river. Oh, damn rocks! Come ah! on, fella. We need a fishy. We need a fishy on the bank. Well, at least I feel a little bit better that I haven't seen anybody else catch their second fish yet. So, I'm only one behind. I'm only one behind. You can change that with a single cast. All right, son, you need to decide whether or not you're going to hide behind a cloud or not. All right? Because dependent on if you're behind a cloud or not, makes me want to throw a different color spoon. Oh, Charles, what's up? Uh, so I guess I got second place with like 13 pounds, something like that. Uh, Austin got first place with 19 something. Uh, the vi I, I brought my GoPro and I Sorry if the audio is crappy. It's so windy right here. Um, I just finished editing it last night. I think I have to render it still. And whatever else I have to do and post it whenever I can. Now that it's like full-fledged spring time. Oh, please be. No, that was probably a rock. I need to tighten my drag. Uh, now that it's like full-fledged spring both with fishing and with the sports that I play. Like I do a lot of filming and a lot of editing, so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be far behind in my editing. Um, so that was filmed Saturday. I also filmed a nice shad fishing session. I got like 12 Monday. I haven't even, I haven't even got the clips off the GoPro yet. So I don't know when that'll be out. But I'm trying not to stress about it, you know. Past, past seasons, I just I'm cranking out so much content, and it got a little stressful. That fishing be, be, seemed to be less of an enjoyable activity. So I think I'm just going to do something like this, doing a little bit more streaming, just for the heck of it. So that way I don't have to like do hours of editing and whatnot later. So, ooh, that was probably a rock. Gosh darn it, dude, dude. Bruh, low tide sucks. So they told me you were supposed to be in that tournament, Charles. So what happened? Were you? Were you not? I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention to the live stream. I was just like, you know, vibing, chilling, watching Austin catch a bunch of fish. and do all the work. I cut the bait though, I, so I helped a little bit. I say visibility is like a foot, maybe a foot and a half. But it's a little tight, so it sucks. Fishing sucks. I've seen the other three guys, there's three guys maybe like 50 yards down from me. They each got one. I haven't seen anybody catch a second one. I don't know what color spoon they're using or whatever. If they're using spoons, maybe they're using something else. I don't know. I feel like I want to slow roll the freaking lures to give them a better chance of catching it, but I'm going to snag off. I know it. I'm gonna do a shorter cast, wait two seconds, and we'll slow roll it a little bit.
that didn't work. Let's see here. Live chat. I wish the chat would just stay up on the screen. Maybe I'm just a boomer and I don't know what I'm doing. I was a what I got stuck on the bank? Like the boat got stuck on the bank? Or you were bank fishing? I think I saw right before I came out here you, something on your Instagram about you bringing your dad out, something like that. I was skimming through it real quick. I was looking for updates on how the James was doing, if it was flooded or not. If it wasn't flooded, uh, I was thinking about like, I wonder if I can just participate from the bank. But I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't have streamed from where I would have fished. I just would have been like, just participated and stuck to the rules. And just did my little float fishing like I like to do where I've caught my bigger fish in spots where you know where, but others may not know. Because, I mean, 19 pounds was the biggest. I mean, I could have... I could have... I could have competed. Technically, there was no rule against bank fishing, yeah? Exactly. I usually do my big catfish bank fishing with live bait anyways that I catch. Little bluegills, little sunfish and whatnot. Got basically all my big ones on live bait. Most of them. Most of them on live bait. Um, the 39 pounder. Most of my 20s. The ones in the 20s. My second biggest I actually think was on cut bait. I think. 33 pounds. Done a fly fishing trip. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Did you charter something or did you take them out on like your own boat? I think you said something you spent a lot of money, so it, it's kind of sounded like maybe you chartered something. Goodness gracious. We're approaching the hour mark of my stream and still no fishies. This will be the second stream in a row that I don't catch anything if I don't catch anything. Granted, last week it was super duper flooded. It was it was pure chocolate milk water, like one inch visibility. Now at least we got like a looks like a foot and a half fish. Charter, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool, I wanna go get one in the ocean. Get a fishing charter. It's all tangled up, come on, there you go. Go for some sea stuff, some saltwater stuff. I don't even know what, but. A little change of pace. Ooh, God, please. No, no luck, one hour. Yeah, just low tide. Yeah. Just had a passerby ask me if I had any luck. Nice change of pace. Um, something in the ocean, maybe. Let's go ahead. Gold was a good idea, but let's go back to white, which has been the bread and butter so far this season for me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
see their stuff on Instagram all the time. Is that how much it costs? Four fifty for a day, or is it like a half a day? Oh, the other bank angler down from me got one. That's his second one, I believe. So that means I've seen four get caught in an hour, which is not a good ratio, really. For between four different bank anglers, it's not really good. Not a good ratio. Let's try, oh, let's try a series of short casts. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Slow roll it because give them an extra chance to be able to catch it. Maybe they're, maybe they're only going after easy bait right now. They don't want to use too much energy. I don't know. Sometimes it's, it's just like that. Sometimes you got to slow roll it. Oh, did he get another one? He he just he just almost doubled up basically. That dude's killing it over there so far. That's his third. Oh oh yep he got it. Yep. Uh, all right, long cast now. We're going for long casts. Fifty nine seconds, forty six or fifty nine minutes, forty eight seconds. Come on, fish. Give me a fish in the first hour. Come on, six seconds. Let's go. No, one hour. Well, that's a big fat bummer. The wind is actually making it hard to cast, too. I'm used to casting up river a little bit, up into the current, um, but that's against the wind, so it's not not working out so well for me. longer I can stay. I don't even know what time it is. I think I started the stream around 5, so it's got to be around 6. Alright, what are the chances that they are just digging maybe a fast retrieve? I've 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 seen that in the past. Sometimes they just love it. It's like I don't know if it just kicks in some sort of instinct in them to chase.
own fishes. It's a nice juicy, juicy lure for you to eat, buddies. I know you want it. I know you want it. We all know you want the fishing lure. Oh, let's see if it's if it's like six o'clock right now. That means low tide again will be six in the morning. So high tide will probably be around noon tomorrow. Okay, okay. That's very convenient for someone like me who likes to sleep in. Maybe tomorrow will be my first kayak day. Maybe I'll bring my ultralight. Maybe I'll go for some uh, perch. Bring some like small grubs or something. See if I can catch my first perch. And maybe I'll end up catching my first striper. It seems as though every time I go shad fishing, I end up catching my first striper. Usually a small one, like a little half a pound to a pound one. A little guy who goes after the shad spoon. Do 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 oh it's all tangled. There we go. <sighs> Good lord. Well you know sometimes it's just about the effort. It's just about putting in the effort. Sometimes you just realize that maybe you weren't the good fisherman that you thought you were. <laughs> Whee! It's weirder to cast when I have a cell phone strapped to my chest. I'm constantly worried I'm going to actually like knock it out of my holder and it's going to fall into the water and then bye bye cell phone. Do, 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 do. Come on, fishies. Fishies, 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 love fishies. Fishies, 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 fishies. <sighs> God, that wind is killing my cast. Anytime I try to cast upriver it's killing it it's killing my just pushing it like right, right towards right back towards me It's inter interesting to me how boats will anchor up, spend all that time, cast for like 10 minutes, and then just abandon it and go to a different spot. Like, like you spend all that time setting up and then it's just, you're just gone. But I mean, I guess they have the ability to go anywhere they want, so they can just move every 10 minutes, unlike us bank anglers. Oh, another one. Another shad caught. Oh, wonderful. So that is the sixth one I've seen caught. Not by Tyler Goes Fishing. At all. Oh yeah, I can get a much farther cast when I cast downriver. But the problem is, is that it just 
quickly ends up going towards the bank. So I get like less time in the water, you know, I guess. Other people besides me are killing it. Everybody besides Tyler is killing it today. I haven't tried Silver Spoon. We can try Silver. See. What do I have? Okay, I have gold still tied on. Chartreuse. Uh, let's, let's give chartreuse a few more minutes, and then we'll then we'll cut it off because I only have the three rods. All right, let's give it ten casts if I can count that high. Two casts of chartreuse. Hooked up on another one. He's killing it. He's the big man today. A lot of times it's me, but not today. Hmm. I think this is cast number three with Chartreuse, or four. Let's say four. So we'll say this is five. Six, six casts. Seven. Seven casts. And then we're going to switch to silver. And then we're going to start catching them like there's no tomorrow. Oh, fish. Oh, thank you. No, he threw it. He threw it. He threw it. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. Oh! Okay, back out there. It was like a medium slow retrieve. First action 
in an hour and 13 minutes. Oh, goodness gracious. Come on, fishy, 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 fishy. On the chartreuse. That was the first bite I think chartreuse has had the entire season so far for me. I had one though. I had one. I had them. Alright, so I guess this makes me feel better about chartreuse for a hot second. He was kind of close to the bank too. So maybe we'll do some, some short casts. is freaking killer right now. I nearly fell over. Oh my god. Come on, man. Don't tell me it was just a fluke to catch, to hook on to one. Give me one fish before I go. I don't want to get skunked. Burp. I 
Okay, well, I was going to cut this chartreuse off and try silver, but now I'm second-guessing my thoughts on that. No. No! No! No, 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 no! Well, I might lose this one. No, I think I got it back. I don't think I was on a rock. Oh. No. No, I was on a stick or a leaf. Something? What is this? That's no, just a bunch of gunk. I was on a bunch of gunk. All right, fishies, come on. You know you want this beautiful chartreuse, juicy looking lure. All right, one more cast with chartreuse. And we'll We'll try silver, I guess. I don't, well, dang it. A whole bunch of clouds came, and now it's darker. It makes me want to kind of stick with white and chartreuse. We can try white again. You know what? Screw it. We're doing, we're doing, we're doing silver. It's the one thing I haven't tried yet. Actually, technically red. I also haven't tried red. But red historically has never been good to me. I think I had one successful day two years ago with them. But it's not good enough to make me think it's going to turn out great. All right, there we go. All right, silver, boom, right there. Chartreuse goes back in. Alright. Now watch me start slaying. Yeah. First cast with silver. Unsuccessful. Come on. Hickory shad, hickory shad, come on. You know you want some. You know you want some shad spoon. We all know you love it.
All right, can we catch a shad in the first hour and a half? Since we were unsuccessful in catching one in the first hour. Oh, stick. Get away from my line. Get away from my line. Get away from my line. And he's on again. That's cool. Good for him. Dude, come on, tell me that was a fish. Tell me that was a fish. You're gonna... All right, same spot, same speed. Almost. I mean, it could have been a rock. Could have been a rock. I don't know. Me getting my hopes up, too, you know. You never know. A man can dream.
I am mildly depressed. Mildly depressed. At least it's nice out and I'm not freezing. Ooh, fish, 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 fish. Yes, 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 yes. There we go, fish on, he's small. Oh, is this a perch? Oh, that's a perch. Hey guys, this is my first perch of the year, right here, look at that. Look at that, it's a decent size one too. Let's see if I can get a better look at that, there we go. Decent sized perch right there. First one of the year on a stream, and there we go. That's nice. He was going after it, pretty fast retrieve on the silver spoon, nice. Bye bye. Heck yes, no skunk for me. That kind of makes me want to think that maybe tomorrow if I do come out with my kayak, definitely want to bring my ultralight gear and some small grubs and stuff because those suckers will eat that up. I am using all of the bigger size shad spoon right now, um, which I think is a little harder for them to eat because they're not like, they don't have like gigantic mouths, but they can obviously. Um, so that's nice. So maybe tomorrow, as long as the water's not absolutely freaking terrible, quality-wise. Ooh, there was some sort of decent surface out there, maybe like 50 yards out. Well, I'm just happy I haven't gotten skunked. White perch are just another fun species to catch. You can catch them over and over again if the situation's right. Makes me think maybe I should tie in a smaller spoon. Maybe I start catching the white purse a little more. Decent amount of boats out, not as many bank anglers as I thought there would be. Maybe they got discouraged by the torrential downpour we actually ended up having uh, over the, last night. It was pouring. It was hard for me to sleep, actually. It was so windy and whatnot. Oh, got a couple of cormorants flying over here trying to steal my fish. Go away. These fish are mine, whatever ones are actually in front of me. They're out there, I think. I think they're out there. That might have been the first fish on a silver spoon so far this season for me too, so. That'd have been cool.
come on, fishy. You fishes are not making a very entertaining stream because you're not participating. So if you guys could just decide to participate, that would be amazing. Dark ass clouds right now. Maybe I'll try white again. Oh, I'm all tangled in myself. There we go. Okay, did I, did, have I missed any chats? Let me see. Nope, missed zero chats. All right, that's cool. We. Oh, that was a good cast. That was good. That boat out there, I think, just pulled in a catfish way on the other side of the river over there. I saw the splashes and it was reeling in. Short cast. Let's do a short cast. Sometimes they're just right in front of you. He's hooked up onto another one. <laughs> well, at least somebody's catching him. All right, big cast, big cast, big cast. Let it sink two seconds, and then we're just gonna medium roll it. See if that works. not working. Can confirm. Can confirm. Very little action. Although it is a rising tide, so it has gotten slightly deeper since I got here an hour and 37 minutes ago. If only I was as success, success bleh, bleh, as successful as the gentleman to my right. I'll be having a little bit more fun of a time. Let's try white again. This year's MVP so far. Eh, don't fall, don't fall. Where's my battery power at anyways? Uh, 47%. All right, that's good. And what time is it? 6.30, okay. Ugh. Can't be out here for too much longer. Let's see if MVP White comes back. For a late victory for Tyler goes fishing here. You 
know you love the white spoon. I know you love the white spoon. You all do. Let's go, white spoon. Ooh, is that a hit? Or is that the rock? That's a rock. That's a fucking rock. I let it sink too low. Oh. Did I get the whole thing back? Did I get the whole thing back? Yes! Alright, let's see. Frey? Oh yeah, there's Frey. <laughs> there's Frey. Not on this part, but there's some Frey up here. So let's just go ahead and fix that. We don't need no snapping off. Once we finally actually hook up onto a freaking shad, the last thing I want to do is lose it. And he's hooked up to another one. That's amazing. That dude's killing it. He's killing it, dude. Everything's right with the world. Everything's right with the world except Tyler's not catching fish. And he's hooked up again. Look at that. I think he just went back to back right there. Alright. Maybe the fish are turning up right now. Maybe the fish are turning up right now. Let's go. One hickory shad today. I'll be ecstatic if I catch one hickory shad today. I got one white perch like 18 minutes ago ish. And now, oh, is that a bump? Please. Please. It's probably a rock, but yeah. And he just tripled up. He, he legit just tripled up that guy over there. What's he doing? What's his secret? No, he lost it. Oh, no, he got it. He got it. Whee! Oh, he did lose it. Oh. Whoa! I heard a jump. I heard a jump to my left. Ooh, that felt like a bump. That felt like a bump, dude. Dude, that felt like a bump. Come on. I just need a fishy. All right. One simple fishy, all right? One simple hickory shad. That's all I need. Ooh, that felt like a bump. That felt like a bump. Come on. Come on, we're so close. We're so close. I'm getting all these bumps. I'm getting all these bumps. This guy's over there. He's, he's he got like three of them tripled up. I just need mine. All right, big cast, big cast, big cast, big cast, big cast. No sinking because I don't need to snap this off the bottom. Do a medium speed retrieve i guess keep the rod tip high
so much to ask for. It's for one hickory shad. I feel like you've given everybody, every other bank angler here, a hickory shad, but not me, River. Not me. So, if you just could do that, that'd be pretty sweet. Okay. And he just got another one. Good for him. Good for him. Ooh, is that a bump? Please. He's on again, bro. Fucking killing it over there, bro. It's killing it. All right, and go. It's just not a good day for Tyler goes fishing. It's a pretty slow day for, for me. This guy, this guy's figured out the ticket. He's figured something out that I haven't figured out. Caught more rocks today than fishes. But that's, that's how it goes. Whoa. Heard a fish jump. Something jumped over to my left. Alright, let's do 
you close to the bank. Can't let it sink very long. Gotta reel that sucker in before it sticks to the bottom. See if there's anything by the bank here. Looking to ambush anything. Looks like nothing. Let's do the opposite. We just cast right into the kind of parallel to the bank a little bit, but see if anything's close to the bank today. Maybe I'll do like a little kind of fan cast type of thing. thing. Now I'll go a little bit farther out. Maybe let it sink for a second. We're going to slow roll it. We're going to slow roll it. Because it's against the current. It's against the current, so it's already probably got a lot of movement under the water. felt like a, uh, a hit it could if you know I could be getting hit by these white perch they're just trying to swallow it but their mouths aren't that big so it could be what's what's hitting my lure I seem to be getting hits a lot could be rocks could be rocks but you know attacked it but very very lightly all right let's do let it sink one Mississippi two Mississippi three Mississippi four Mississippi and rip it Rod tip low, fast retrieve. Oh, it, it was hooked up on some grass. There we go, okay. All right, try that again. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. Oh, please don't be stuck on the bottom. God dang it, dude. God dang it. Ah! Come on, come on. No. I hate it. I hate it. All right. Fine. Let's we'll let you go. And we'll try again. Goodness gracious. I hate it. I hate it. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Oh my gosh, how strong is this line? Oh my gosh. 
All right. Yeah. Oh, got it. Well, the sun's back out. I think I got the weight back, but I don't know if I have the lure back. I do not. Nope. Just the weight. All right, well, let's just retire this for a hot second. And gold, I guess. Oh, well, silver. Let's do silver. It's the only thing that actually got me anything. Ugh. And the sun is back out. Maybe that'll help. Whee! Come on, Silver Spoon, give me my second, second fish of the day. Hopefully, preferably, a hickory shad. But I will take a white perch, too. I will take a white perch, too. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. And we're gonna rip it. We're gonna rip it real good. Rip it, rip it real good. Rip it, rip it real good. Rip it, rip it, rip it real good. Whee! Boom. Uh, I didn't let it sink that time at all. I believe there kind of is a rock right around there somewhere that has taken a cornucopia amount of my lures in the past. And he's on again. He is so gone. Hey, Fisher Fever. We were talking about you a little earlier ago. Uh, Charles Breckenridge was in here. So I've been streaming for an hour and 58 minutes. I got one white perch off of a silver spoon. However, that dude has been killing it. He's gotten like 10. Whoa. Oh, is it? No. What time is it anyways? 651. Ah, oh, I can't be out here for too much longer. Hey! Oh, he's got earbuds in. I was going to yell at him and ask him what color spoon he's using. That's what I was about to do. That's what I just yelled at him for, but I think he's got earphones in. So it looks like he's got white AirPods in. So. He's just vibing. Plus, I've tried all the colors I've got, except for red. Except for red. I've tried white, silver, gold. Got one white perch off of this silver one here. I feel like I've gotten some nibbles on the white. But I just snapped off my white before you got in here. So now I got this, I just picked up this rod which had silver on it. I don't think I can be out here for much longer anyways. Actually, I should I should have left like 15 minutes ago. <laughs> and now I have seven people in here. Why is it that every time like I have to go from a stream, I is when I have like the most amount of people in a stream. It's, it's hilarious. 
but it was technically my first white perch of the of the season so that's kind of nice I might take the kayak out tomorrow uh, bring an ultralight rod bring some of these rods and go for the hickory and the white perch maybe I don't know we'll see depends on how the river looks tomorrow with all the rain that we got overnight so I don't know could be chocolate chocolate milk by the time by the time I come out tomorrow so high tide tomorrow is I think like noonish probably I guess since it's low tide right now oop, since it's low tide right now and it's now seven ish so yeah probably somewhere around noonish Kind of felt like a bite. That kind of felt like a bite. Ooh, there was a surface right there near my lure. Something surface. A little splash. I think I missed a comment. What was this? Oh, do, do, do I think I'm going out tomorrow evening? You tying new rigs as we speak. All right. Tomorrow evening. Heck yeah. Catch those big old kitties. All right, I'm trying to slow roll. I've tried everything. I've tried like every color. I've tried fast retrieve, slow retrieve. Snapped off like oh, fish, 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 fish. fish. This isn't. This doesn't feel big. So this might be another uh, white perch. It is. It's another white perch. There we go. <laughs> oh boy. There we go. All I'm getting right now are the white perch, guys. Let's see if I can get a better view of this guy. There we go. That's a nice view. Solid white perch right there. Second fish of the stream. Both on silver spoons. Bye bye. That guy hit close to the bank too. Well, gosh. You know, I have this rag tied to me specifically to wipe my hands off, but I keep wiping my hands off my jacket. Just instinct. All right, let's try that again. That was pretty slow retrieve near the bank, so we'll try that again. Sometimes I just feel like it's harder for these uh, white perch to swallow these larger um, shad spoons. So I feel like the smaller ones would be a lot more successful. But I really want a hickory shad. That guy over there has got about 10 of them so far. I should go. I got. I'm playing some volleyball at eight, so I need to go home and change. Put something in my belly a little bit, maybe a granola bar or something. Ooh, oh, I have a knot in the line too. Look at that. Didn't even, didn't even notice that. That's probably not good. Well, I'll have to fix that some other time. Well, I got two fish, so I did not get skunked. Cost my first. My first white perch of the year. And second. Ah, let's see, take this off of my thing here. Yeah, there we go. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. I did bring my GoPro as you can see, but I'm so far behind in editing. Fish and Fever, by the way, uh, my video 
is edited it needs to render so it'll probably be out in the next few days um pretty good and i got a nice um collection of our, of our of our catches over that over that trip uh i'm beat all i did was sit behind a computer all day too <laughs> for some reason i'm exhausted and then i'm gonna go play two hours of volleyball but yeah then i had a good day monday i uh, i was over here and i got like 12 in a couple hours couple of hickory 12 hickories um probably missed like 10 i kept losing them like right at the bank they, they threw the hook but yeah um yeah i have to go i have to go so um all of you guys who are watching right now and all the guys who watched the past two hours thank you and i need to go so peace out <laughs> this is always this is the awkward moment where i take 10 minutes to figure out how to stop it there we go